Once upon a time, there was a man named Sigmund Freud. Freud believed that inside of every human being was what he called an inner beast. Freud was able to spread his story and change the whole world with such an unusual concept. He explained to everyone that their inner beast had drives for sex and violence. He believed that these drives motivated people to do things subconsciously. Society accepted these ideas and it was thought that holding in these drives was bad for humanity. Freud invented a type of treatment called psychoanalysis through which he believed he could create a type of environment where these drives could be released safely. There were also many other methods to release the drives. It was and is believed that personality disorders developed by holding in these drives for sex and violence. Freud had a nephew named Edward Bernays. Bernays took the basis of Freud's work and ran with it. He found a way to manipulate people by using these drives as a guide and created a different type of advertisement. With these advertisements he was able to motivate people to buy certain products by convincing them that if they bought them and used them that they would elevate their social status and enable them to have more sex, along with other things. Before Bernays, advertisements looked like this. But afterwards they looked like this. Bernays managed to change our society from a need-based society to a want-driven society. Bernays influence did not stop there, this type of advertising has exploded into many different directions, being used in movies, put on park benches, buses, and billboards. Here is an example of a type of advertisement used in movies, called product placement. Subliminal messages came about as advertisers began trying to speak to a human being's inner drives. Subliminal is defined as existing or operating below the threshold of consciousness. The type of subliminal message that we think about did not start to appear until after Freud and Bernays' work. Here are a few short clips of subliminal messaging. Bernays managed to change advertising so extensively by making people feel that their personality would show by buying certain products, and commercials today are still aimed at accomplishing that goal. Here is a commercial that is doing just that. Now look around your classroom. Everyone in your class is wearing different clothes, including you. You all style your hair differently to be an individual. Everyone is trying to show their individuality because Bernays has molded us into a type of society that classifies people by their clothing, how updated their clothing is, and their favorite type of music instead of judging people by their actions.